Nat 20. Welcome back to A Deal with Demons, where in our previous episode, our adventurers made it to decide to go to Eight and have just made it to their hotel. The majority of them are sleeping. Uh, Lazarus investigated some thugs who he assumes tried to attack their horses or try to steal some stuff. And everyone's back in their hotel rooms right now. Farron ended up getting a hotel room to himself. He um, paid a mean-looking Goliath to fire his room for him. His room is soundproof and it is very difficult to get into right now. And that's basically where we left off. So is there anything anyone else wants to do right now? Um, or is everyone just going to sleep until they wake up? Yeah, I think I'm just going to sleep my solid four hours. <coughs> Staring in the Okay, mirror. we get it. <laughs> Once I wish... Get... What? You go. I was, no, I was just going to say, I wish I could sleep four hours and feel well rested. I wish I could sleep forever. All right, well, I, gonna I can make that happen. <laughs> <laughs> that can be arranged. Uh, um, I'm also just going to go to bed. As soon as okay. I get back to my room, I'm going to take a more closer inspection at these swords that I okay. uh, happened upon. You said you were too tired to do anything else. It's too tired to deal with you. Zing. <laughs> oh, uh, just roll an investigation check. That's an eight. Or is it? It's an eight. <laughs> <laughs> uh, at this time of the night, you're starting to get a bit tired, and it's been a long few days, so you're not really able to discern anything more important besides that. Uh, the hilts of each sword and the guards are made of, uh, an alloy of silver and brass, you've noticed, but that's basically the only other thing you can discern about it. Okay. I guess I'll just turn in for the night. Okay. I'll keep the swords, uh, tied up in my pack. Okay. Yeah, and then you're able to fall asleep easily. Uh, was there anything else for anyone else? I'm still staring in that mirror. I'm staring until, until that sun comes up or something happens. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm so, so that, frustrated. So after a few minutes of staring, the first time it ended up getting a bit darker in your room. And then that kind of vanished. And that's where you were at when we left off. No. Um, and slam on the table and stare harder. <laughs> Blow with the candle. <laughs> uh, roll another d20 for me, please. I mean, go with the green day. Hey, that's that's, that's fifteen. Yeah, so you stare intently at the mirror, and then everything gets dark. Your vision all goes dark, and then you see. Uh, you. It seems like you're seeing through someone else's eyes for about five seconds, and you see a city. Uh, you see. A bunch of people being rounded up. And you see Shardana around, like all around. And then that vision fades. And you, it seems like you're seen from someone else's eyes now. And you seem to be in a really small space. It seems to be crawling forwards. And there's a light at the end of this tunnel type thing. And... Uh, after a couple seconds, you make it through the tunnel, and around you, you see a room, and in this room, you see a few keys that are like locked away, and they seem to be for specific buildings or really important. And then that vision fades, and you see yourself in the mirror again. I blow out the candle and go to bed. <laughs> Sweet dreams. <laughs> That's all I needed. That's all I needed. Uh, you all wake up in the morning. Uh, wake up in the morning. Fuck <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> Tony, you're one stupid joke away from getting kicked off. <laughs> now I got Tony, 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 I'm about to hit the city. Alright. Uh, <laughs> copyright. Uh, so you all wake up whenever you want to in the morning or early afternoon, whenever you guys want. Evening. I wake up after my four hours of sleeping. Same. I really brag about that. <laughs> yeah, she's having flex and all that. Weird flex, but okay. In the morning. 
And I'm going to head down to the Ike Man, the wizard. The wizard's apprentice. Okay. Uh, yeah, so I said it was in the northern sector of Northwest. Yeah. Northwest, yeah. Northwest of the city. Yeah, so uh, after travel, are you traveling alone or with any uh, others or with Lovecraft? Or as I wake up, I'll, I'll walk around, I'll rouse everyone. <clears throat> Okay. I'll knock on the doors and get everyone to come out. Okay. And then I'll ask. I'll be like, uh, uh, I'm going to go. There's an apprentice from the wizard that we're looking for. I'm going to go find him, see if we can get more information about where this wizard is. Does anyone want to come with? I'll, I'll come with you. Yeah, i got nothing better to do. I have something else to check out. Okay. Uh, fair. Do you want to come with us? Yeah. Would I hear him through the soundproof? You hear knocks on the door, but that's the only thing you hear. Yeah. He's uh being very emotional lately. Kids just go through phases. I'm that's gonna true. That's true. Yeah, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna open the door, and I'm just, I'm gonna walk downstairs. Okay. To the lobby. Like past us? Past him past or like you. when he knocks on the door or what? <laughs> like after you knock on the door, I'm gonna open it, I'm gonna go to the lobby. Just gonna go straight to the lobby. Like Boy. just walking past him? Rude. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. Okay! Um <laughs> <laughs> now's right. a chance to check out his room. Uh, did you close the door? No. <laughs> okay, I'll walk in there. <laughs> Innately curious. Uh, I'll stay at the door. I I'm just assuming. Take a, take a quick. Or, no. You guys are cursed. No. <laughs> yeah. So uh, this just seems like a bit more extravagant of a room. The beds are big, a bit bigger, a bit fluffier, more pillows. More types of blankets you can have on your bed. There's a nice mirror. That's probably Dude, you're talking uh, about Everything is more extravagant, extravagant in this room. Did you end up smashing everything? Or is that <laughs> not kidding? Oh, yeah. I broke a fair bit of things. Yeah, so you notice a few things are broke on the ground. Like, there's a couple of uh, lamps that or lanterns that have been smashed and they're on the ground in pieces. Uh, a couple of blankets are torn apart. Uh, one mirror is broken on the ground. I, uh, I've, I've seen this then. before. I it's, opened the door wider. Withdrawal. So everyone can see. <laughs> yeah, so, are we all in agreement that this guy is super suspicious? <laughs> I'm just going to start fixing stuff with mending. Okay. <laughs> I didn't even know you had that. <laughs> I've never used it until now. <laughs> right, okay. Uh, Ron, you come with us to the Wizard's Apprentice, or? Nah. <laughs> okay. Uh, Ailrendel, Ailrendel, right yes. now you yeah, feel as though Artemis is on the move. And he's going to west. You. West. Away from, from Shun. Oh. Actually, that would be interesting if Artemis had a connection to Ailrendel. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes, I, I know. Yeah, yeah. It'll be interesting. It would be interesting. <laughs> well, clearly, <laughs> Baron's not interested. Ryan was like, nah. So, <laughs> I'm just gonna. If Lazarus and uh, Aelander are coming, I'm gonna start making my way down to the the guy's place, the wizard. Would be, uh, yeah. The building that I checked out was close um, to where he's going, right? Yeah, it's somewhat nearby. It's a few blocks. Uh, west of the apprentice's home. Okay. As they pass through the lobby, I'll then just join up with them. Okay. Well, after I, you know, I grab like that orange juice or something. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, and you also see at the receptionist's desk, it's now a uh, short dwarf. He's about three and a half feet tall. He's got a short beard, not very long. It's all black uh, with spectacles on and uh, he's got earrings in both ears as well. Bet you his name is Wallace. <laughs> <laughs> name so are you, are you coming, Darren? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll be joining you. Okay. Uh... I guess we'll head out without Ryan then. He's mending upstairs. I mean, he nothing is broken. <laughs> uh, he's practicing some spells upstairs. And as they're seated, notes that Zerthos is still sleeping when he left. I just leave him. <laughs> he has his own agenda to yeah. tend to. Yeah, let's make our way there. Then. Okay, let's make our way there. Uh, you hear the receptionist call after you. Ah, uh, could I get the keys, please? Unless you guys wish to stay another night. We might be staying another night. 
If you are staying another night, could you please pay now or return the keys? Why can't we just pay later? <laughs> because I may have people who want a room right now who Are you in the room. lobby, Ryan? Or are you no. upstairs? Upstairs. I could Where take you care of this. Uh, I'm in the lobby. I'm okay. with you guys. You have, You really gonna make another spell? No, I could, I could, I could charm the man. I could I'll, get I'll him get... to sign an important no. contract stating... <laughs> Um, I don't think that's necessary. <laughs> we don't need to go out of our way to. <laughs> I'll hand the keys back. Okay. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm assuming that Z Man has my key. Uh, yeah. I left it in the room. Yeah. We do have uh, um, two people still up in the rooms, though, just so you know. Uh, as long as they return their keys when they leave, it'll all be. Do good. I have the key? Well, right. we, have, we probably have one key each. Maybe. I, I have, have, I have, have my room. key. I? Everyone would have their own key. Yeah, so I'm Sick. a few steps away from the counter. So I just take the keys and I drop them on the ground. And I just say, here you go. Oh my God. <laughs> uh, if you could put the keys on my desk, that would be very well. This should be fun. Um. <laughs> my desk is here, not on the floor where you drop the keys. Oh, sorry, I couldn't tell. <laughs> I'm just going to grab the keys. Um, and I'm just gonna like, underhand yeah. pass them and try to check them on the desk. <laughs> okay, just roll a d20. <laughs> I'm being so antagonistic. I don't care. <laughs> You're just gonna go... <laughs> just add your dexterity. For, for which, sorry? Uh, d20 plus your dexterity. Okay. Which I'm just gonna claim. Uh, everywhere. 21. Yeah, so they end, like, straight in, in front of him on the desk. And he just says, thank you, I appreciate and it. Keep the change. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> so st- <laughs> he rolls his eyes. Keep the chain. Uh, would I have finished by mending everything by yeah. now? Yeah. Okay, cool. I'm gonna take my key and use my channel divinity <laughs> artisan's blessing to make a duplicate of the key. <laughs> hey, how long does that take? It takes an hour. Okay. So I'm gonna hang up in my room just for this. <laughs> <clears throat> I think it takes an hour. Um, <laughs> and then I'm gonna use my Smith's tools. These rooms were to five silver piece. Alter the key just enough so that it looks the same, but doesn't work anymore. <laughs> <laughs> do you prank him hardcore? Well, yeah. Do you have to? Do you want to check to see how well that works? I'm just checking now, but I don't think so. We channel divinity stuff. Channel no. divinity. Yeah. Smith's tools. Oh. Well, Smith's tools, you could make me roll for the Smith's tools. Okay. Smith's tools, I think, is like... It's just proficiency. Plus your proficiency. Yeah. yeah, I'll be your roller uh, check. Yeah, it's an hour long ritual. Yeah. <coughs> 17. Yeah, you're able to make a key that looks a lot the same, but has a, like, a slight difference in the height of the notches. <laughs> Perfect. And when you try, try that key in the door, it doesn't work. Okay, then I'm going to leave and give him that key. They and when he compared the keys, there's only like a couple of millimeters difference. Perfect. And he accepts the key. Awesome. All right. But I'm by that ready. time, these guys have yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Just over an hour. Hour. Yeah. 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 I know. I'm gonna do my own shit anyway. Okay, so you guys are headed to the wizard uh, apprentice's home. Yeah. Okay. I suppose so. Yeah. So you go along the way, pretty much the same way that Lazarus went last night. And then uh, you take a right that he didn't take, and after a couple of blocks, you make it to a home that you see that has darkened windows, as well as the door is intric- intricately made and has like different wizard-like and like enchantment-type symbols on on it engraved. I appreciate this home, yeah. my craftsmanship. It's beautiful. Um, I will live here. I'm gonna approach the door. It's my and I'm new home knock. now. <laughs> uh, yeah, so you knock at the door, and uh, uh, about a minute later, uh, someone comes and opens it, and you see that it it looks like somewhat uh, it looks like a human boy who's probably around uh, fifteen years old, and he says, "Hi, uh, how can I help you? Are you uh, the wizard's <laughs> apprentice?" Uh, yeah, I've been apprenticing with him for a while now. Uh, what can I help you with? It's not necessarily you looking for it. It's actually <clears> your <throat> map. <coughs> what? 
What's your name again? I'm very curious. Blaze. Blaze, right. I got mixed it up with a whole, your other one. What was it? <laughs> the other one that I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Nice. His name uh, is Blazers. Blaze. Blazers. <laughs> come, come here for a moment. Blazers. What? Blazers. 15 year old boys actually did this. He's messing with you. He's a smart man. Think about it. Uh, why would he mess with me? Well, what, what if he's unsure of us? He's saying he's a 15 year old boy now. But really, that's the wizard. Watch, he'll probably turn into the wizard. I want him to be the wizard, so this is a good thing. Okay, well, I'm just saying, keep an eye out about that. That might be really cool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna slowly back away and turn into the guy again. I'm gonna be like, sorry, we said to discuss politics. Um. We're actually looking for your master. I, I need, as you can see. And I'll pull my hood down. I am oh in dire god. straits. Oh my god. And uh, I could definitely use some help. Yeah, he's pretty gross. Well, uh, sorry he's about stupid. that reaction. That <laughs> sorry, I was not face. expecting that. Um, Don't worry. Every time I pass a mirror or a puddle of water, I cry. It's <laughs> uh, true. So, it, my voice was like this, kind of, right? That yeah. is the voice? Yeah. Uh, uh, how, how, how did this happen to you? Uh, what, what did this you? Well, you see, I was bitten by a... a snake. A snake. <laughs> You're not here. A snake. <laughs> and it turned me into an abyssal wretch. I've never known any snakes do They're that a, to anyone. It's a rare breed down by Stillsby. They're black in color with red markings. They call them devil snakes. That's okay, true. Sure. I've, seen, I've seen them as well. Sure, Okay. <laughs> Makes sense, I guess. I've never heard of that, but that's okay. Uh, Why are you guys lying to this young boy? <laughs> <laughs> As was... <laughs> Maybe because we're on a <laughs> uh, I mean, if you want to help me, so if uh, you want me or my uh, master to help you solve this, it would help to know the truth and know how this actually happened so we can solve it. Okay, you don't need to fucking break out! There's only one room for one person to break out! And it's me! Alright? Here go! Do you look like a fucking pile of garbage? <laughs> Sorry, listen. I was bit by a runner kid. Okay, uh, that's helpful. Uh, no need to keep lying. <laughs> <laughs> I'll pass this on to my supervisor and we'll get back to you in about two to four weeks. <laughs> I'm desperate for help. <laughs> If there's anything you can do to bring me back to normal. Uh, I personally don't know how to fix this, but I'm, uh, my, the master wizard here can help you. He's not in right now. He is in the mountains <coughs> to the north right now. Why is he in the mountains? He's meditating. He's, well, actually he's kind of in a coma, but that's his own, what, he put himself in the coma to try to learn some stuff. He's got another apprentice near him to, like, study him and stuff like that. But he can, you know, stop him from complaining. Yep. The apprentice can, like, the apprentice that's with him can wake him up, I think. And then the wizard can probably fix you up. How far away is he? Uh, it's probably about a day's travel, maybe a half. Yeah, probably a day's travel. It's up near the top of the one of the near mountains. Oh, that's not that far. Yeah. No, it's not too bad, actually. We can make that. It's early. We can head down right now. Maybe the dragon's over there. I hope not. <laughs> Maybe it's around there. I don't know, but you know what? That's not far. We can go there. Are you going to come with me? I'll come with you. Now I that I, a journey. Now that I think of it, you might need something to actually get him out of the coma. Like oh. that. Like a stabbing? <laughs> no, that might kill the wizard. Uh, I th <laughs> think there was a flower. Uh... Blue flower. Blue flower, right there. Yeah. I think there's a lake to the north, <laughs> northwest. That's a flower named the Fri Frivolous Frantella. And I think that if you move that into a paste, then it'll help. Uh, it'll easily get the mat, the wizard out of the coma. No, Sorry, uh, frivolous Frantella? Yes, yes, yes. Sounds what, like you just made that word up. What does this flower look like? Uh, it is, um, like, the center is golden, and then there are petals that are different colors. So, um, the petals go from yellow, then blue, then orange. So, like, blue in the center, and then uh, orange at the tip of the petal. So, what do we do with the paste? And how do we use that to wake him up? Uh, you just put the paste in his mouth, and uh, once he swallows it, it should wake him up pretty quickly. 
What if he doesn't swallow it? What if he chokes? Can you uh, stab him? No, please don't stab my master. What if we uh, poke a hole in his throat so he can breathe? I'd still prefer <laughs> you don't do that because that could still lead to danger and maybe I'm dying. Okay, that'll be plan B. <laughs> okay, maybe a plan Z. I was thinking more like a plan D, early E's. Yes, yeah, so that yeah, that's be, fair. Yeah. Okay, plan, plan C. Well, compromise. <sighs> If uh, flower like doesn't work C and stomping on him doesn't work, C then plan C. We'll stab him in the throat. <laughs> What's your alignment? <laughs> like neutral evil. Okay. <laughs> I'll send a letter to the oh, press. <laughs> Never would have guessed. <laughs> I'll send a letter to the other pendants to let him know about what's happening. Uh, the wizard was going to be in a coma for like a month or so, so... Uh, yeah. How long has he been in a coma so far? Like, four a week. Months. Does he do this often? He's done it a couple of times. Mostly just so that his apprentice can study uh, people in comas and people who are unconscious and then the wizard can learn more from that so that the wizard can learn his abilities more and stuff like that how long does he usually stay in a coma uh like the last time he was in there for three weeks the time before that a week and this time he's going for a month so yeah is this person a human yeah okay like the the apprentice yeah yeah and all you humans are ugly people. My god. How long have you been an apprentice for? Uh, for about five years, and thanks, that really helps my self esteem. <laughs> Listen, um, if we go find this flower, the frivolous apprentice, yes. and then head from there up to the mountains, how long would you think that would take us? Uh, maybe a day and a half, maybe two days at most. Ooh, that's not the amount of time I like to spend. Do you know any sort of teleportation magic? Uh, Maybe uh, an incantation. Maybe just throw your dagger really hard, and <laughs> <laughs> I can get up there real fast. I don't know about anyone else, but well, uh, like uh, I learned Dimension Door the other day. Uh, just the other day. Uh, a while back, I learned about uh, Misty Step, but that's really the most of my knowledge on transportation. I mean, transportation magic. Do you think Dimension Door? Dimension door could do it. Do you think that you could do that? That would only get us about 300 feet. Yeah, if you had a lot of dimension doors, you could probably do it, but uh, that would take a lot of dimension doors. Mm. Yeah, not really viable. Uh, do you have a dragon we can ride on? No, uh, I don't ever want to see a dragon. That's where really. we should have got it. <laughs> you wanted to kill it, not ride it. I'd figure it out somehow. I don't know. I don't know. Listen, it's, it's fine, because when we go to this lake, we head to mountains. After we see the wizard, we can go straight to the dragon, who is also in the mountains. I should also mention that there are a few hags at this lake who might cause you trouble. Yeah, they are ugly women there. We can handle a few hags. Okay. We kill a freaking dinosaur and a mind flayer. Like haggis or... No, hags. Hags. Is that short for haggis? No, it's short for hags. (laughs) (laughs) Hags, two S's. (laughs) <laughs> hags and one S is short for hags too. S. Okay, well, um, hags is hags is. I might need to be a little informed. What is a hag? It's like a. Like, it's like like your grandma. <laughs> is it like a haggis? Form of a haggis. <laughs> it's like half a haggis. <laughs> They're evil witches. Yeah, yeah, like evil old witches who just want to torment people and like do what they want. They're kind of evil and magical. Uh. Don't like other people being on their properties or around them, so they attack a lot. Uh, Sounds like my dad. <laughs> Maybe I'm a hag. <laughs> I think I know what you are, and it's not a hag. <laughs> no, you're just a dick. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, thanks, kid. We're going to make our way to this lake, then. No problem. Uh, you send a note up to your fellow apprentice, like you said, so yeah, you know we're that. coming. Yeah. That way they don't freak out when we show up. Yeah, yeah send, a, send a raven. Yeah, I'll do that in, like, a couple minutes. Make sure it's a raven. Sure, I'll send a raven. I really don't want to see a raven. (laughs) 
<laughs> all right. Uh, all right. Uh, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Uh, Might have been something in this orange juice. <laughs> Sorry, he's having a weird day. I don't really know. Uh, I turned to everyone else and then... Uh, Maybe we should uh, head back to the inn and I'm walking out the door. What? <laughs> <laughs> he said, "I'm walking out the door." We weren't in, even in. We, we were in the though. door. We just opened. Yeah, we weren't in. Oh, are you going inside? <laughs> just walking past him. <laughs> are you just walking away? Oh, we we were talking to him in the fucking in the doorway. Doorway. In the doorway. Yeah, oh. we were still outside. No, I'm, I'm walking away. <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> I think we have our answer. Look, we'll go to the end. At least us, and we will get. Um, I, I call for Lovecraft. We'll get our little short, stubby man. Okay, but well, what about Lazarus? Is it, we're going to lose him. You can come help me if you want to, but I should be fine. Where are you going? Investigating some hooligans. <sighs> Hags? Close <laughs> enough. <laughs> hey, listen, we've made a few bad impressions. Maybe it wouldn't be a bad idea for this town to do something good instead of helping an uprising. So you're saying we should investigate these Hagulians? These hooligans, defeat them, Earn the, uh, what is the word I'm looking for? Uh, Money. Reputation. No, reputation. Thank you. Yes, we need to build up a good reputation. Okay. What better way to build up a good reputation than to save the town from some hooligans? Should we still get voice gets fixed soon. Yes. Okay. But we can't lose Lazarus. We don't know where he's going to go or when he's going to come back. What if he dies? Lazarus, where are you going? What is This way. (laughs) We know he's going that way. I'm going to follow Lazarus. So there's also some soup into this town before. You have noticed that most of it is the same, but you notice that one kind of two buildings have, are new that you haven't seen before. And it's the Hungry Bard and the Thirsty Bard. <laughs> A lot of rival buildings. <laughs> um, wait, 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 Blaze. Um, leave a trail. All right, <laughs> I'll go get Ryan. We'll come back. We'll follow your trail. That way we don't lose each other. You want me to leave a trail? A trail? Yeah, just a trail so we know where you went. A trail of what? I I don't know. You figure it out. But we'll we'll figure it. We'll find it. Let me see what I got here. Just start it at this position. I could, uh... (laughs) This this is all a waste of time. As you say that, I'll put a little X on the alleyway that I'm walking through. Oh, see? Lazarus has got it. He's making X's. Okay, fine. We'll do that. I'm going to follow Lazarus. All right. We'll meet you back at the end. Sound, sounds, oh wait, we're meeting, you meet, Jesus, you're meeting me back at the end? I thought we were coming back to follow you. <laughs> oh, yeah, you can follow us, yeah. All right, well, okay, we're well, gonna, trail. So wait, I'm going to go get Ryan, and then we're going to come back and follow the exes. Sure. Okay. I'm going to go get Ryan. Uh, while they're, yeah, while they're talking about this, I just fucking leave. <laughs> 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 no, 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 I, can't leave me, I just together. don't care. Hey, just, would you guys like to know a lot of the major like source and stuff in town? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. So there's Ares Archery, Ooh. the All Inn, which you were at, the Out and Inn, Sears, which is a fortune telling place. <laughs> oh, oh my god. god. <laughs> I like that. This is why he wanted to tell us. <laughs> yeah. For Sears. Uh, the Hungry Bard, Thirsty Bard, those you have never seen before, uh, Blaze. Uh, True as Gil, which is a blacksmith shop. Uh, there, you guys have seen what looks like an art gallery or an art store, but there is no name. Oh, nameless, art. artistic. And yeah, as you as you kind of look at that, you do seem seem to think that it's an artistic reason why there's no name. It's very his names are very rich. yeah, <laughs> it's very abstract. And then there's a shop called. Please don't steal, which you assume is a shop for disguises, thieves, tools, stuff like that. Uh, the cold one, much. which is a bar, fancy feast, which is a uh, like food store. Barth's provisions, Menno's music, slew with steel, which is a weapons shop. The tanned tanner, which of course is a tanner's shop. Uh, butch, which is a butch a butcher, the enchantress. And by the Horns Brewery, which is a potion shop and liquor store. Wow. I like that. Um, okay. Wow. I'm not going to remember any of that. Yeah. <laughs> but it's good Thank to know. You. Yeah. I know I'm Sears. Gonna... <laughs> yeah, this is the only one I'm going to remember is Sears. 
I want to head to the weapon shop. Okay, I can give you guys like this small section if you guys want to see what like okay. all of the stores. Yes, yeah, send it to us. Well, I can just like give it to you right now. Just don't you just dare send, send it. Just don't like just scroll it. too much. Just send uh, it. Just send it. I, I just copy send paste it. that. Do you have my Skype? Not right now. Oh, not right now. Send it to me. Yeah, no, well, no, don't do it right now. Right now, I'm doing it right now. Oh, he's doing it right now. All right, we're just Skype. We're wasting depressing footage. Stop in our Facebook group. Stop. I sent you a Skype. I think my name is Awesome Taco. I'm not gonna lie. Are you shitting me? A good I remember when you were always awesome taco with everything. Yeah, I did. You're like, oh, I'm talking back. Okay, it's in the group chat for anyone there. who cares. They're so good. Okay, so anyways. Uh, so crunchy. It's what is crunchy. everyone wanting to do right now? I am going to the shop. I want to shop. Can we cut to me, please? I'm coming yeah, to get I'll you. Go to you now. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Attention yeah. seeking much? Yeah, so Ryan, you have come to the main floor. Yeah. You're returning the. They yeah. key, they <laughs> key, they accepted it, the and you notice that exactly. no one, out, none of your other group is right. in this lobby. And then a few minutes later, you see Zerthos walk down. All right, I ignore him completely. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because we're all like butting him up in like the past few episodes. Now we're just like, <laughs> yeah. get out of our face. Yeah, I forget he existed. Um, I'm just gonna go find the blacksmith shop. Uh, so. Cutting back Are to you the like, other group. Yeah. <laughs> like, trying to walk around the city to find it, or did you ask the hotel uh, in manager? Uh, I'm, I'm kind of I'm in a, a walkabout mood. I'm just gonna wander around till I can find it. Okay, so and if I can avoid my party while doing so, I will do that. <laughs> good, good time. We don't want to be in the group. Well. We can just leave you out next episode. Sure. Right? <laughs> uh, so yeah, so you're uh, after about like. 20 minutes, you're able to find the blacksmith shop, which is called True as Deal. Uh, and you walk into this shop, and um, I had something with this, I think. Uh, maybe I didn't. I thought I did it. Uh, one second. Fuck. Mm. Oh, yeah. So, uh, you go to the shop, and you see that <laughs> The sign says, uh, uh, truest deal. And you see that it, it's just, uh, like under the words, you see that it's a sword with a long blade, uh, with the, like, just under, pretty much like, do not underscore to the, or underline to the name. Okay. And then just as you're about to enter, the door opens and someone leaves. And, Roll eight for something check. Does he have a handlebar mustache? Twenty two. This man looks a lot like you. It's a dwarf. Oh, oh for shiz. You've never yeah, seen yeah. someone who looks quite as like as much like you as this man. <laughs> <Staring to the mirror. laughs> like he's a dwarf, he has almost the same <clears throat> face, same eyes. A bit of a different haircut, and uh, not quite as strong looking as you. Uh, he's about a few inches taller than you, though. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and he's with your with your guess, he'd be pro- maybe like five years y- younger than you. Um, I'm just gonna step off to the side and follow him. Okay. For a while, see what he does. Uh, are you trying to stealthy? Yes. Okay. Clang, clang, clang. <laughs> <laughs> Mithril. <laughs> That's a two. <laughs> <laughs> Did you roll a three? Yeah, so you start following him, and you think you're being super sneaky, and you think you're, like, the great spy of all time. And then he just, like, spam you, and he's like, Are you following me? No. You've been following me since I left the Daxmith story. What's up? And then he kind of takes a double take at you, and, but doesn't say anything after that. It's me, your conscience. <laughs> uh, you from the future. <laughs> You're gonna die. Why would you give that man the key? 
What? Holy fuck. If you had the chance to change, can you guys shut up, please? <laughs> Would you? <laughs> Swamp. <laughs> That'll do. Are you guys done? Yo, you went up. when you when we went to the inn. Oh, you should have went instead of all in. You should went to the out and in because it's better than out than in. I always say. <laughs> <laughs> you think he's overcompensating for something? Yeah. Hey, Shrek, no way. <laughs> I don't know it's only you yet. Anyways, don't get All right. <laughs> uh, what's your name? Laddie. I'm Rumen. Shrek. Rumen Rockney. Rumen I don't know why you're being so unfriendly all of a sudden. Oh, I'm just wondering why someone's following me around. Well, it's just that you happen to look an awful lot like me, so I was just... I don't. I didn't. I didn't know what to make of it. I didn't realize I was so handsome. <laughs> <laughs> I think. Sad. I think. I think I'm in love. <laughs> you want to go to the out and in? I have a room. I have a key. <laughs> that is true. I I just noticed that we looked quite alike as well. What's your name? Ryan. <laughs> Where are you from, Ryan? Tokyo. Sten. From Sten? Sten. What's it to ya? I'm just wondering if it might be related in some way. Well, I don't really see how that could be possible. Well, we look quite alike. Well, it's quite the coincidence, that's true. And my father was from Sten. Well, in Sten for a while, quite a while ago. Is that so? Yes. Do you know what is your father's name? I don't know. Oh, oh, he's a bad. <laughs> <laughs> so you never knew your your father? No, never. <laughs> what? Uh... Where could I find him? Uh, he recently moved to... Well, actually, about ten... Uh, how old are you again, Ryan? I am 168 years old. About 170, <laughs> maybe 175 years ago, my father moved to Igor. Then recently... Uh, and then... He and I have everyone, so I'll travel through Eich, and that's where I'm living now. So I'm just wondering, maybe there's a relation of some kind. But my father had no brothers, so I'm just wondering. Ah, oh, man, I don't know. I've never seen someone who looked so much like me, or even like my father. It does seem a little too much to be a coincidence. Well, uh, I don't know. Sorry for troubling you. I'll be on my way. No, no, uh, no problem. Uh, maybe we could go for a drink. Maybe talk some stuff out later. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> now you're speaking my language. <laughs> uh, sure. Yeah. All right. Uh, I'll be at the. The Thirsty Bard, later on tonight. Here's my number. <laughs> There's a performance there going on tonight, I think. Two of them, actually. Oh. Uh, a man named Zarathos is performing there, and then a man named Erdron. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I know Zarathos. <laughs> <clears throat> I traveled with him. Oh, really? Yeah, he's kind of an idiot. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I'll meet you there at some point tonight. Sounds good. We might be able to... Learn some things. Yeah. Interesting. All right. See you then. Well, I'll let you go on your way. Yeah. I bid you adieu. I bid you adieu. Okay, I'm going to go back to the blacksmith shop. Okay. This is fucking weird. (laughs) (coughs) 
Uh, I'll go back to you. Okay, so Blaze and Laz- Lazarus were going to the uh, bandit's house. What are you guys doing? I was going to the weapon shop. And I was going to locate Ryan at the inn. <laughs> okay. Which he left. <laughs> uh, so I'll go to Fair and next, you guys. So you go back to the inn, and as you enter, you don't see uh, Ryan anywhere. You go up to his room. No one answers as you knock on the door. Adia? All right, I make my way to the lobby to the dwarf man okay. <coughs> running the counter. How can I help you? Yeah, uh, did you see uh, another man of your size-ish? <laughs> uh, walk out of here, perhaps in some heavy armor. Very you- nice armor. Are you asking if there was another dwarf here? Yes, that. I didn't want to be racist. Extra <laughs> racist. <laughs> uh, he left about uh, half an hour ago. Do you know, did he say where he was going? Give you any information? No, he just wandered off. He seemed like a man of his own mission. Ooh. That's fucking true, man. All right. Well, that sounds like Ryan. Okay. Uh, well, thank you. You do know that he likes to visit blacksmiths in every town he goes to. Oh, yeah. I figure I could at least put that together. Um, where's your nearest blacksmith shop? Uh, it's to the uh, west, about, like, six blocks or so. Six blocks. Okay. Uh, what's the name of it? It's called the... Uh, Truest deal. Truest deal. All right. Um, well, they, I didn't catch your name. My, my name is Rahul. Rahul. Um, nice name. I'll probably forget it, but Rahul. Um, all right. Well, thank you for your help. No problem. Uh, if you ever need another room here, just feel free to come by and we'll settle things up. I'll definitely do that. You have a fine establishment. Thanks. Do you want me to burn down the other one? No, please don't. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, then I'll be on my way. Have a good, have a good day. Thanks you too. Oh uh, wait, can I get one of them other orange juices that I order? <laughs> of course, uh, it'll just be two copper pieces. Easy done. Um, yeah, I'll give them two copper pieces. You can see an orange juice to go. <sighs> Wonderful. Does it come with a straw? <laughs> <laughs> Do you have perhaps a long pipe device? Oh, a straw. <laughs> <laughs> yes, a straw. <laughs> yes, uh, do you pop some in there? <laughs> Who puts straw <laughs> in their orange juice? <laughs> uh, and I'll take my leave and make okay. my way to the bl- nearest blacksmith shop. <clears throat> Six Wait, blocks away. Did you get orange juice with pulp or no pulp? <laughs> That's I don't know. I never what would your character get? You know what? I never specified, so it's going to be whatever they have. Percentage roll. <laughs> <laughs> How much? It is with pulp. Ooh, uh, I hate with pulp. Yeah. Oh, man. How much pulp? A lot of pulp. Oh, <laughs> like, like orange juice you have to chew? Yeah, like, I rolled ah, the percentage orange. roll and it was... Whoa. Uh, 50 and above is without pulp. 50 and below is with pulp. Got a six. Wow. So I'm going dude, like, that's just an orange. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take... Take an orange and put a straw in it. <laughs> I'm going to sip it through it's the straw. It's 60% pulp. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to sip it through the straw. And as I take two steps towards the door, I'm going to turn around and be like, your orange juice is garbage. <laughs> I'm going to spill it on the ground, oh, drop man. the cup, and walk out. Next time, order without pulp. <laughs> <laughs> pulp is I'll take my leave. <laughs> nice. And do you, like, after you leave, do you see someone start to clean the mess up? Uh, and then you're on way, your way to the blacksmith shop. I'll go to uh, Lazarus and Blaze next. Cool. Uh, so you're you're able to make your way to the bandits' home pretty quickly since it's just a few blocks away. Uh, what do you do? Once we're in like the alley, like coming up to it, yeah. I'll abruptly stop, turn towards Blaze, and be like, "Listen, I'm going to need you to shut up and listen to everything I have to tell you." Ooh. Snap. Yeah. Um, I like a man who takes control. Was- <laughs> <laughs> Sudden and aggressive? This place is dangerous. 
Okay, if you, you didn't, okay, no, they are fine. Uh, I trailed the, uh, the bloodstains back to this place, and I suspect that whoever was at our carriage, uh, beforehand returned here. That's where those two pictures came from. We ha- we know what they look like, but I don't know if they actually did anything. <laughs> okay. So you want me to sneak in? I'll sneak in, I just need you to cover me. I can sneak in with you. I'm stealthy. <laughs> and you have a spell, don't you? <laughs> I do, but if we both sneak in and they were to return, that would leave us with no options but to engage in a fight. So you want me to be the Look charismatic up. guy chilling by the window yes. so when they get there I can distract them? Precisely. Uh... <laughs> Sounds good. I, I can do that. At most, you can cause a very good distraction. I just need to pull down this hood. <laughs> yeah, okay, fine. I'll play your lookout guy. Okay. But if you need anything, just call and I'll jump in. You can keep Lovecraft. <laughs> I don't think he was going to go in anyway, but yeah. And, uh. I will cast Pass Without Trace again. I'll actually cast it on both of us. Okay. And then well, you can do Lovecraft too. You only make stealth checks if you do stealthy things. How many people can you cast on? I think anyone I choose within thirty feet. I think it's a max of eight. Which oh, is it eight? Oh, okay. There definitely is a number. I only wrote down masculine companions. There might be a number. Pass the trace. I'll look it up real quick. I mean, it's definitely more than three. So yeah, it doesn't really matter. Oh, shizzle. Fine, I'll cast it on all of us. And then I'll approach the windows and try to look in. No, it is just. <laughs> oh, yeah, each, each creature, creature you choose. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Okay. Uh, Me and uh, Lovecraft is down here. But if things get hairy, we're going in. Okay. And I'll approach the windows, see what I can see. Okay. Uh. Roll a perception check. It's a uh, six. Uh, it seems as like the same <laughs> as when you left it before last night. Okay. Since I know which window was unlocked, yeah. Um, I'll sneak in through there again. Okay. Uh, just roll a stealth check. Uh, thirty-two. Yeah, again, uh... <laughs> You'll work it out. <laughs> the entire house is silent. There... I wish I could recite it, but I can't remember it's what okay, it was. It's okay, yeah. you, you don't need and to make a, a joke. It's super quiet. I just wanted to make a stupid joke, but <laughs> I didn't have to. put it in and post. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just put voice recording, <laughs> recording, recording, Austin, is like, uh, like, a, like a white noise, and then just a recording from a Christmas Carol movie. <laughs> White noise back to this point. Or just Google say that. Yeah. I'll do the house not even a mouse. Speech to text. Yeah. Text to speech. <laughs> Google Close. translate. Close. Google translate. Yeah, so anyway, you're super quiet. Um, and I'll look around the house, check upstairs, see if anyone's home. Uh, yeah, so now that it's light here, you do see that in, like, garbage cans there are a lot of bloody rags that seem, like, somewhat newly bloody. Okay. And you do notice that in the kitchen, uh, pants have been, like, used that weren't used before. And you don't see... It seems like they probably left the house. Cool. Uh, are their rooms locked now or unlocked? Uh, they are unlocked. I'll search the left room first. Okay. Yeah, so as you enter this room, you notice that uh, the bed's unmade. There's a little bit of blood on the sheets, mostly uh, where you assume the body probably was. Okay. Like not head or like lower, but like mid body. Yeah. Uh, there's also like blood in a trash. I mean, like bloody tissues and stuff in a trash can. Uh, and you do see a chest, a desk, and like a wardrobe. 
Uh, I'll check the wardrobe. Okay. Uh, so in here you just see like a bunch of different clothes, uh, a couple of types of armor. So you see leather armor, padded armor, and then you see some damaged chainmail. Okay. Um, I'll close the wardrobe and I'll check the desk. Okay. Uh, here you see a few letters and notes and different stuff. If you want, you can read them. There's also a map on there with a few X's on it. Okay. I'll uh, do a quick sketch of the map. Okay. So it is a map of uh, Tothania. And you see a few X's just uh, below Eight, just near the river, as well as uh, a few on the way to Igor. Okay. Do I see any of their names on the letters? Uh, yeah, you do see four names. One says from Phineas. The other is, uh... <laughs> do it. <laughs> okay, trying to gain subscribers. <laughs> uh, the other one is from, uh, Aldrich. Then, one, fr- uh, to Amy. And the other is to Aldrich. Aldrich? Yeah. I feel like we missed something there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. You okay? <laughs> I'll leave everything on the desk where it was. And then I'll <laughs> check the chest for um, traps. Uh, yeah, you don't see any uh, traps on this chest. It is locked, though. There's a big lock on the chest. Okay. I'll leave the chest for now, and I'll check out the <coughs> other room. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's unlocked again, and again, the bed is a bit bloody. There's bloody bandages and the trash can. Again, a desk, a wardrobe, and a uh, chest. That's all that's a uh, closet in this room, too. Okay. I'll check out the desk. Okay. Uh, here you... Uh... There's a few papers that have, uh, as you read them, it seems like it's poetry and a couple short stories. The short stories are not good at all. Like, it's really badly written. They don't enthuse you at all or captivate you at all. The poems are decent. Uh, you definitely wouldn't buy them from any store. No. Okay. Um, nothing of importance, though? Not in the desk, no. Okay. Um, I'm assuming the chest is locked as well. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I still don't want them to know that I'm, I've been there. But then, of course, the missing swords and pictures, but... Hey. Um, I'll leave the chest for now, leave everything how I found it, and return outside the blue. Okay. I didn't see anybody at all? No. What'd you find? Uh, these are definitely the guys that had, were injured next to our carriage. Uh, there were bloody rags all over the place. And they seemed to be, uh, scoping things out. And, uh, also don't think that they've, uh, reached out to any healers or anything. Because all that blood that's still in there, it's still fresh. So do you think they're trying to avoid attention? For sure. So not good guys? Definitely not. And you didn't find any of your, like, your group stuff in either room? I didn't know what we were missing to begin with. (laughs) But nothing seemed familiar, like, that was yours. Uh, Do you want me to go and take a look? See if you missed anything? If if you want to, um, I'll pull out the two swords. I'm like, you can take a look at these, though. I'll look at the swords. Okay, uh, so they are intricate swords. Uh, The handles are an alloy of silver and brass. And then there's an inscription on one sword that is light, the other is death. Uh, the one that says death is, or they're both in, what language do you know? 
Common, Elvish, Giant, and Sylvan. I know. Common, Draconic, Primordial, Dwarvis, and Celestial. Okay, so the death one was in Giant-ish. Giant? giant Giant Giant. 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 giant And then the Slight was in Elvish. Okay. Uh, anything I can discern about the swords? I'll roll an investigation check. That is... 16. They both seem to be made from the same maker. It seems kind of odd being that one has inscriptions in giant and the other in elvish. Uh, they both are extremely well-made swords. You're not exactly sure where they were made. But they're really great swords. They, okay. they definitely seemed out of place in a house like that. Yeah. Here, uh, I can put them in the bag of holding for now. I, I'll keep a hold of them. Do you have space? Yes. <laughs> no. You could Shut probably assume <laughs> that they were stolen from somewhere. Okay. Uh, and they are plus one long swords. Okay. Uh, anything else you find up in there? Uh... They have some log chests that I thought I would leave for now, and uh, some letters. There was a map uh, describing, I'm assuming, um, more targets for them. So you think they're hitmen? Something of the sort. And you want to leave the chests for now? Do you yes. plan on coming back? Uh, I still want to know more about these people. Uh, maybe wait for, for them to return and confront them. Should we wait out here then, or find some place inside? If we start trouble out in the middle of the street, there's a chance we could be seen. That is true. I feel like we should wait for them inside. Okay. Uh, I'll crawl into the window too. Okay. And I'll find a place. Uh, Probably hide in the kitchen. Okay, is Lovecraft following you? Uh, yeah. I'll yeah. Okay. come out through the window. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah, so you're able to stay in the kitchen or in the building. Okay. Uh, I'll go to uh, Aelrendel. So you're going to the weapons shop? Yeah, I'm gonna go check that out first. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, so this is okay. called Slew with Steel. Okay, sweet. Um, I walk in through the front door, as I assume they're probably open. Yeah, they are open, and as you walk through the door, you hear uh, bells jingle as the door opens. And you see that there's a counter. Behind the counter, there's a gnome who you assume is sitting on a really high chair or stool, because you can actually see him over the counter. And just all throughout the store, you see different weapons. So warhammers, swords, shields. There's some... Armor, suits of armor, there's a couple small statues wearing the armor with shields or swords, like threateningly almost. Uh, you don't notice any, like, any weapons that are too special or too, uh, intricately made, but they all seem to be decently made. Alright, um, I say, um, good morning. Oh, how's it going there? (laughs) Welcome to my shop. Uh, are you here just browsing, or are you looking for something specific? Uh, I'm just, I'm just looking around, seeing what you guys have. Um, is there anything that, uh, you have that you would consider special or, uh, very, very well crafted? Uh, most of these weapons here are made from our blacksmith in town, so they're all, uh, decent quality. Some are really good quality. Depends on the day, but they're all pretty good. Uh, we don't really have anything magical here, but that's unfortunate. But you can always, uh, go to the Enchantress to get things enchanted if you wanted. Uh, is there anything, like, you're looking for? Like, any certain type of weapon? Um, nothing specifically, just, uh, more stuff to kill people with. Uh, well, we've got your, our daggers here, our swords over there, and there's uh, shields here, which I guess you could bash someone with, but that's not really what shields are for, so I don't know why I'm saying this. Uh, there are lots of bows and arrows, 
Uh, there's some bows, staggers. What um, else would you use a shield for? <laughs> uh, I'll not answer that. Uh, <laughs> uh, there's a few war hammers if that interests you at all. Um, no, uh, any wh- uh, we've got whips, which are uh, different items for adventures to have. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, what do you think of a, uh, a crossbow? Ah, uh, I already have one. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, I see that now. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'll, uh, I'll keep some of these things in mind, uh, but <laughs> I'm about to head out. <laughs> <laughs> Receive a scimitar, maybe a rapier. Nope. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, thanks for coming around and checking out the store. Be sure to spread nope. word of our of us here around the uh, continent, countryside. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely, maybe will. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna leave. Okay. Um, poor gnomes <laughs> best, man. I was just interested I like thought maybe they'd have something cool it was all pretty plain it was all pretty vanilla uh, um alright I'm gonna go the blacksmith store I'm gonna see the enchantress enchantress okay enchantress. uh so you're able to find your way towards an encha- the enchantress okay sweet it's uh it looks like just a home but you see the a sign that says enchantress Ooh. with different like magic or arcana type symbols all around and as you enter you hear ding dong ding dong instead of like a ringing of a bell ding, 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 ding. and uh, it, it seems like no one's actually in the shop oh um kick stuff <laughs> time to steal <laughs> um I just say hello is uh, anybody here? And then from behind the ca- counter, there's a small poof, and you just see a uh, tiefling lady just appear behind the table. That's hot. Damn. Uh, oh, uh, hello there. Hey, how what? How can I help you? Is there you something you want to chat? <laughs> 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 I just can't. I just thought I'd say hi. Um, I. Don't know. <laughs> I'm looking to possibly get something enchanted. Depends what kind of enchantments you can do. Well, what kind would you like? I can do most of them, but it depends on what you want. And it'll also take time, too. So keep that in mind. And money. Yes. Yes. So just... And money. <laughs> <coughs> yes. Neither of those things I have a lot of. Um, I am interested in possibly getting my longsword enchanted. Uh, in what way? Uh, I'm picking up weight from that, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> dude, I don't know what I'm looking for. <laughs> what kind of enchantments what? can she do? Uh, kind of so really one of the most popular ones I have is, uh, I can make it scream and scare people. I can make it, uh, it have like mysterious images appear to scare people. I can have it uh, have a chance to make someone fall asleep or become drowsy. Uh, I can enchant it with fire, ice, water, uh, necrotic damage. Although I'd prefer not to do that one, just because I'm not a huge fan of necromancy. Uh, I definitely, I definitely wanted that one. <laughs> <laughs> just out of his way to be difficult <laughs> no I do so necromancy is your type of thing hey one <laughs> second I have to look partially dead yourself. yourself what's that you kind of look partially dead yourself yeah outside and in baby <laughs> that's not flirting uh, so if you want me to enchant this with necromancy uh, it will be a hundred gold pieces and it will take uh, two days time 
How would you feel if I offered 90 gold pieces? How do you feel if I don't do it? <laughs> well, I'd be partly sad. Totally. Exactly. You can actually afford that. I can't. She's at 100. Yeah, you have 229 silver pieces, which adds up to at least six gold pieces. <laughs> <laughs> ten silver pieces turned into a gold piece. Oh, yeah, right? ten, yeah, shit. You actually ten. have more than enough. <laughs> Sorry, I just put it in there because the card is haggling bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> what about 94? How about I don't do it at all and treat you out of my shop? Tony, you can afford it. <laughs> Why won't she haggle? <laughs> she knows her worth. <laughs> She's a strong woman. Um, do I think this is a fair price for it? Uh, roll an insight check. Just roll. Okay. <laughs> I'm done with your shit. Uh, 13. Oh, snap. <coughs> uh, it's definitely not the best price you've seen, but it's about average. Maybe a little bit above average. <laughs> not good enough, my angle. <laughs> Just do what your character would do. My character is an honorable man. Oh, he's not. <laughs> <laughs> Ever since he died, he's been epic. He's, he's just edgy to... now. He's been more epic. That's not it. Yeah. No, that definitely is it. He just really wants uh, to shop at the mall. <laughs> going to the mall today. <laughs> <laughs> um... <laughs> So, like I said, a hundred gold pieces, it'll take two days for it to be enchanted. Be stern. A hundred is the, the best you can do. Yes, it is. You actually have 294 gold pieces at your disposal. <laughs> I don't I'm trying to explain this to you. You actually no, have I, 150 copper, no, which I, adds up to like another 50 gold. No, I, I know. I just, you know. Why is it my money? <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess I can do a hundred. Not gonna have a lot of money left over for food and other essentials, but I think that's your problem, not mine. You don't need it enchanted, you could get food. No, that's fine. I don't even need food. <laughs> and I only need four hours of sleep. <laughs> Um, so I guess I'll pay her the 100 gold pieces. Okay. Um, if, if, if I put them all in a, a little sack and I give her 99, what are the odds that she would notice? Is she going to count all of them? Or is she going to Eventually she will count. <sighs> no, I'll just do the 100. Hey. Um, and I'll give her my long sword. Okay. I'll have it ready for you in two days. Um, actually, I'll say, um, uh, can I, uh, can I give 50 to you now and then 50 when I come pick it up? Sure. Sure. All right. I'm okay with that. Sounds like a deal with the Enchantress. (laughs) One person Uh, laughed. (laughs) <laughs> I don't think it was a laugh. That was like a, a uh, sigh. I think it was a sigh of resignation. <laughs> Why is this idiot on our podcast? Yeah. Um. All right. So I'll do that. I'll give her the fifty now. Um. And then I guess I'm about to head out. So. Okay. <laughs> you say that one more time. <laughs> I'm about to head out. I'm kill all of you but, and myself. Uh, <laughs> I'll go to Farron for the last part of this episode. So. You uh, went. To, you went to the blacksmith's shop, and uh, wait, actually, I didn't do anything for you in the blacksmith's shop, right? No. Okay. Fuck. Uh, <laughs> you were both at the same time. It's all good. Yeah, I'll do both so, at the same time. Yeah. Okay, okay, so uh, you were following Ruman for probably about uh, and talking to him for about twenty minutes, and then you head back to the shop, and then about. A minute after he enters the shop, you do see that he enters. He's in the shop, and you're able to go into the shop and you see him in the shop. Done and done. <laughs> <laughs> Next time on that twenty. <laughs> <laughs> no, so the end. <laughs> funny meeting you here. Yeah. 
<laughs> How did you find me? <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> Who are you? Well, when you, you know, your short, dense people <laughs> <laughs> dress no like yourself. Uh huh. There's only one place you can go in a city like this <laughs> a blacksmith shop. Yeah. Exactly. You, you know there are dwarves that are blacksmiths, right? <laughs> I did not. <laughs> what? We have, like, an entire society. Really? Yeah. So you're in the <laughs> <laughs> dwarf beyond the cabin. <laughs> we just make excellent smiths. <laughs> Okay. Oh, wow. My what? eyes have been opened. Mm-hmm. What are you doing here? What? What's it look like? Okay, well, you need to drop what you're doing here because we have a thing to do. All right. Um, Blaze and Lazarus, they went off on some random trail to catch a Hegulian. Uh, we need uh-huh. to go follow them. They left a trail for us. X's. 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 And there's a bio now he doesn't know. <laughs> Uh, I, okay, I guess. Fine. Um, I'll leave the shop. Okay. <laughs> okay. Good choice. I'll Follow me. I'll come back later. <laughs> <coughs> Alright, yeah, I'll just head off with Farron. Okay. The third people today to walk in and immediately. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm about to head out. <laughs> you guys are going to think there's a dead body somewhere. Just keep fucking coming in and bouncing immediately. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just gonna leave and go find those exes. Okay, so do you guys actually leave exes for them to call? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, okay. I'm assuming I did. Uh, so yeah, you find the exes at uh, a home, a house, and you see one window is open. And that's where we leave off on this episode of the D.O.D. <laughs> Alright, alright guys, we're about to head out. We're about to pop some, you know. One of our best endings yet. Yeah, so, uh... <laughs> the window's <laughs> open. I want to leave. <laughs> There's a light breeze coming So, 